Hello and welcome back to Trails into Reverie. So, in the last episode, we basically uh, learned a little bit about Rufus. We, we got to hear some internal monologue about how he views life and stuff. And then got a, a, got a ride from Jingo, of all people, into Crossbell, where we snuck in and took a look around. There was, there was a lot of... A lot of dialogue, a lot of NPCs, and we talked to potentially every single one of them, I, th I think. Uh, and then eventually we were watching, we, we learned how the the broadcasting thing worked, how, how that is brainwashing people, and we almost got brainwashed. But Ren saved us, and now she wants to join us as we go to Rosenberg Studio to try to learn the purpose of Lapis. So, uh, that's it. We're all caught up. Um, there should be no more, like, NPCs to talk to or anything along the way, so it's mostly going to be battles and heading towards the studio. I think we've actually already fought you with the other group. Yeah, you're running away. Can I, like... Yeah, just kill them and get free stuff. Can I do that, like... Kind of like your voice a lot. Who is your VA? Ready, I want to know if it's different from original. Hold on. Okay, I wasn't I wasn't wrong about the voice. She definitely got a different voice actor. There are two different voice actors, one for Cold Steel 4 and one for this. And this one, I couldn't quite pick it out uh, who, who it was, but the voice sounded familiar. And I recently played Neon White on my own, just... Uh, I, I played it like three or four times by now. I I love that game, uh, and she, she's actually neon violet. She's apparently she plays a lot of characters with violet hair or purple hair, uh, which is very interesting. <laughs> but uh, it's not a very well-known game. If you know it, you know it. Uh, if you don't, <laughs> maybe maybe go look it up. Wait, I don't think I fought you. <laughs> Have I? Easy. Yeah. Okay. I almost missed out on a a scan by doing that. I think. All right. So I'm gonna try this now. This is my new spot. I don't know if it's good, but the thing is, where I was before, I was blocking the HP most of the time. I think still here I'm gonna be blocking HP depending on my camera angle. But <laughs> overall, I'm gonna try to stay here for a bit because. I just, I feel like it's going to be a little bit better. I don't know, it's a little awkward because I'm like, hanging out towards the middle, but whatever. We'll see how it looks for a few episodes. An insect with a giant eye. Nothing escapes its sight. Mainly ignorant of tra uh, travelers who invade the highways it calls home. On it. Uh, you're going to die easily. Target locked. I want to see now then is your skills yeah Dance for me. yeah you can too late you can definitely hear her me. in it <laughs> oh yeah I forgot you have this have we used this should be around here Found ya. Up you go. nope On guard. You haven't got anything new. How plain. No problem. On it. You got this, which I haven't actually seen, but it doesn't really do anything. <laughs> Wait, no. no, no, no. I've seen this before. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> it's just him buffing up. So. Ooh. That ought to do it. Okay. Oh man, can I get a moon lens? Might have to grind so I can go make one. <laughs> Fortune favors the clever. You are also new. There. Okay. 
Got some very creepy teeth. A beast with a one-track mind for mating that flies into a rage when disturbed. Uh, a certain egg-stealing snake is its natural-born enemy. Hmm. And I'm completely blocking All the right. elemental stuff. I mean, not that you... <laughs> Doesn't really matter if you can see that. How about this? Renegated! Ooh, they're all blinded. My turn now. All right, let's see this one. Oh, think you can handle this? Me Missed one. It's me. Let's also see this. Time to entertain my guests. Okay, so this is the same move. Time for the main event. <laughs> what a delightful tea party. <laughs> it's me. Damn, you guys have health left? Okay. Um That one might move towards her. We might be good here. Uh, okay. I don't have a suction move, right? No. Now go back. Oh. What? Buffy. Maybe I knocked it far enough back to hit all three. I did. It's me. They're still alive. Oof. Uh, yeah. Be around here. Found ya. Up you go. Ready there. Now, ask it for it. I gotta remember. We've... All right. You hurt Nadia? Never with you. But yeah, of course. Yeah, we we definitely heard that Even one. Perfection. Can... Uh, as soon as their link levels up, sometimes they get a new one. So. All right, I gotta take you out. Hold on. Too late. Hmm. You guys, got anything? That scythe won't be slicing my neck off anytime soon, now, will it? Well, the answer to that is up to you. Okay. The fact that they have unique dialogue. I think I think she's a permanent member. The fact that she can't make food bothers me, but I think she'll be added eventually. Maybe, or maybe she's just terrible at cooking. I don't know. Hey, you're new. Easy street. Um, uh, you just do that first. There. Oh God, we have two new enemies. <sighs> Terrifying snake boasting of four heads. Almost take caution around its petrifying, petrify-inducing breath. All right. Do I have a way that I could 15 CP? Okay. No, we're gonna do that. Criminals raid. All right. And 200 this. No choice. On guard. And then. Yeah, that'll hit How all. About this? Kind of glad we just have normal voice now. How shall we play? I kind of liked his uh, distorted mask voice too, or distorted mask type, but like Rufus. Unmasked, like the chance to play him is very rare. <laughs> Wide open. Too late. I'll take care of. I don't know why they thought to make him a main character in this game, but they did. How about this? Renegaded. My turn now. All right, sir, you're weak to wind. I that's not happening. Okay, um... Let's use your magical one. Think 
you can handle this? Meet your end! How shall we play? Hmm. Can't can't do anything there. This both of these are magic. I just hit it with this. Here. It's gonna do Got you. 8k? Ask it for it. Ready? It's not very much. Ah, damn it. Or crit up. Criminals raid. Ready? Hit it. Keep at it. Okay. I was I was really hoping to see it do a move, but it's just attacking. Time to settle this. And we might as well rush. One ten. I think we actually have some Azure droplets too. Should I be? I have sixteen of them for this group. Really? Well, I'll keep that in mind. Those those are definitely ready whenever. Gonna need to be used. I'm curious to see what's in that chest myself. Defense, speed, and petrify. Ooh. Hmm. It might be good. She really doesn't need evasion, and I don't think... I don't think their HP needs to be... Well, yeah, I, I want to make her a tank. Super tank, so... Uh, speaking of that, Ren, do you even have... You have nothing on. Uh-oh. She seems like she could be either a, a, a evasion caster or something. I don't know. I don't know what to make of her. Uh, I, for for now, I'm just gonna throw random stuff on her. I, when I can actually afford anything, we'll figure it out. But uh oh, you're low health. Good enough. That was just the cure. <laughs> Ready? We've seen all our moves, so now we can basically swap her in and out. Uh, is this the... Oh no, that sounds like a mirror. What was that? Is something wrong, Rufus? No, it's nothing. What is this I'm sensing? <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll be locked out for a brief time. Uh, let me save, but I'm pretty sure that that was the sound of a mirror. Okay. I say, oh no. But there's nothing I want more. <laughs> nothing I want more than this group to meet up with the others in the corridor. And have everyone have their stuff linked. That would be great. How much longer? I'm so tired. Really? We haven't even walked that far yet. Mm, Rosenberg Studio isn't too far from here. And you? Are you sure there's nothing wrong? You're acting awfully preoccupied. I simply don't think it's worth mentioning. No, wait. Oh, thank God. What is that? That looks like a piece of a mirror. Um, or, or something. The design is really weird, too. I didn't take you for the type to collect trinkets. I'm not. I couldn't tell you where it came from. It just suddenly appeared in my pocket. It what? How could that be possible? I don't know the answer to that, but nor do I think I, we can afford to leave it unanswered. A predicament indeed. Oh! Oh, what? Oh no! Oh, oh. So, so I don't get the. We have to, we have to go through them and then get pulled back into the corridor all three at a time. This next time, then is that what's gonna happen? Oh damn it! Well, 
See you later, Rufus Run. Uh, right to left. We're going to Lloyd. I was so I was so ready, so ready to Southern Crosswell. Oh. Oh, there it is. I bet we find Tio here. should be safe to dock. I don't see any signs of the Ebon Defense Force. Then we're good to go. <laughs> ah, dry land. Yeah, I didn't realize it would take so long. The EDF doesn't seem all that interested in surveillance outside of the city. Rufus must be feeling pretty cocky if you ask me. I thought they might retaliate against Armorica after the last run-in, uh, but that never happened either. And I don't know how to feel about that. It's like he doesn't even see us as a threat. But I guess we shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. That overconfidence will be his undoing. Isn't that right, Kia? <laughs> yep, he won't know what hit him. But I am still kind of worried about Risha. Yeah, so am I. Oh no. Yesterday. So Risha and Lecter are gone. I'm so, so sorry. I just don't know what came over me. How could I ever think of betraying you like that? It's okay, Sansan. -san. You can't keep blaming yourself. If anything, I should have known something more was wrong. I'm a terrible friend for not realizing that you were struggling so badly or being manipulated. And Elia means the world to me. I should have been able to tell something was amiss. Risha. Thank you all for coming to our aid. I don't know what we would have done if you hadn't shown up when you did. Really, thanks. Don't mention it. Glad we could make it in time. The one you should be thanking is Zyke. We were looking into what the EDF was up to when he told us that you were in danger. Did he now? Still, it's not like you to be modest, Wazi. We really do appreciate it. That's true. Oh, thanks for rescuing us, Zyke. You were a hero back there. And I've been way overdue for one of these. <laughs> that you have. My apologies for not returning after the operation. <laughs> Just wanna... That you have. My apologies for not returning after the operation. He he sounds so much more noble than than I'd have pictured. I think that's the the part that confuses me. I thought he'd sound more like I don't know, <laughs> kind of edgy almost, because he's always like pushing. <laughs> he's always making fun of Lloyd in the group. Everyone except for Tio and Kia. But he sounds he sounds so like regal. It's it's weird. You're so flaky, Sight. Do you realize how long it's been? Tio and I have been waiting for you to show up again all this time, you know? My apologies. As a holy beast, there are limits to how much I can interfere. I am astounded at just how much you all have grown. The children of man truly do grow apace. I'll take your word for it. It would be nice to think I've grown a little, yeah. <laughs> I'm just overjoyed to see you again. You were sorely missed, Zeit. Hmm. Yes. It's good to be back. <laughs> He's so loud. I've read plenty about the holy beasts in the scriptures. Funny to think I would be in the presence of one so soon after returning to the church. You should have seen that, uh, seen the congregation for Divine Worship's face when we reported to them about sight. Can you blame them for losing their shit? Whoever heard of a holy beast moonlighting as a police dog? 
Though, I guess he can do whatever he wants, for the most part. It sounds like it's like his contract doesn't apply anymore. I don't think Zeit is nearly as worry weird as... I don't think Zeit is nearly as weird as hearing you talk about church stuff, Walt. Oh, okay. Vulp. <laughs> yeah, I'm still wrapping my head around it. Can it? You better get used to it. All right, everyone, enough with the funny talk. You folks ready to get down to business? Based on the info they found, it sounds like you guys already know where you're headed. Yeah, the Reinford Military Factory to the west. Where? You said the Ebon Defense Force has been frequenting it the last few days, right? Sure have. That's most likely where the Zauber Soldats are being manufactured. It would make sense. I've been wondering how they were able to bring in so many... So many into Crossbell's borders without anyone noticing. I don't think the Imperial government or Reinford group would have ever allowed so many to be smuggled. Right. So, if we consider that we they were being manufactured from within Crossbell the entire time... Then the dots point to this mysterious factory the EDF is connected to. That was one of the places where Sorgas and Melgius? I don't remember ever trying to say those names, were being manufactured before the war. Everyone was convinced that the Black Workshop's tech was gone for good, though. I don't know how Elberea and his men got their hands on it, and worse, it looks like they made some improvements, too. We'll likely be crossing paths with those soldats from here on out, so that's bad news. That mask Ilya was wearing also looked like workshop tech, too. Yeah. Yes, and now they're using it to alter her personality, if not outright control her. Is this being assumed, or do we know that? I'd like to ask the Thoris graduates what they know about how those masks work. Oh, you're making the connection to Azure Siegfried. Uh, right. Okay. That could be a good idea, but they let's make our top priority searching that factory and finding information on the soldats. Okay, so my theory from last episode is out. She is obviously being controlled by the mask then. <laughs> Something tells me we'll be able to fill in a few blanks on what's going on here and why Rufus Elberea is staging this occupation. Unfortunately, getting there is going to be easier said than done. Oh, I don't think we've ever been anywhere up there before. Huh. Yeah, no. Uh, you've never been able to go there in Zero or Azure. I don't think there was even a building or a road or anything. The factory's to the west of Crossbell City, while we're in the northeast. The only way I know how to get to the west side of the state from here is through the city. Yeah, with two H's, and that's not exactly an option with the EDF crawling all over the place. I'm guessing we can't just hit a, hit a ride on your Merkaba either, huh? I wish. Uh, we brought it with us, and it should be safe with the squ other squires guarding it. But they're using more advanced anti-air radar than the CDF was back in the day. I can even see through their... It can even see through the active camouflage. And they've got them set up at all the key locations. Flying is a no-go. It's shocking how well-equipped they are. What the hell? Not even the Ar Imperial Army doesn't have toys that good. I guess that's where the Black Workshop factor comes into play again. In that case, I think uh, the smart play is to make our way to St. Ursula. And how are we going to reach St. Ursula from here? Just so happens I got my hands on a normal boat before things hit the fan. You should be able to use it to cross the Lake Elm and reach St. Ursula on the other side. Okay. We would still be 
a ways away from reaching the factory from there, but I'm not seeing any better options. Yeah, let's take what we can get. That's a lot closer to the military factory than we are right now. And we can find a route for, to it from there. We'll go with this. Thanks for the idea, Lecter. And the boat. Your course is set, then. <laughs> I will leave this land's crisis in your hands for the time being. Ah, does that mean you're going to leave us again? I'm afraid so. There is something else I wish to take care of. But fear not. I, too, am part of the SSS, so it is only a matter of time before we meet again. <laughs> we'll hold you to that, Zeit. Now, yeah, take care. Yeah, I'll miss you. But let's see each other again soon. Yes, that we shall. Yeah. Actually, I was thinking of staying here. Oh. Okay. That... <laughs> I forgot she wasn't on the boat. I want to help look after my grandfather, and if the EDF does come to the village, I'll take responsibility and negotiate. We could use your su have used your support, but you do make a good point. I'm worried about how things are at the hospital, so I'm tempted to come with. That said, I think my services are needed more here at the moment. But you made it to the hospital, or the church. At the very least, I want Speaker McDowell to make a full recovery first. Thank you, Cecile. I really appreciate it. And I was also leaning towards staying here and hitting up my connections. Besides, a large group isn't going to be able to sneak into the factory. And that's if we even manage to fit us all on the boat. It makes sense for some of us to stay behind and protect the villages as we gather info. In that info. case, I'd like to stay here as well. Okay. Are you sure, Risha? Mm, that makes sense. You evaded her attack for the most part, but weren't you still injured? Yes. Please forgive me, everyone. I just need a little time. I'm still not ready to face up to what happened to Ely and Sansan just yet. And that's perfectly fine. If that's your decision, then we respect it. That's right. I'm sure you'll be able to find your way forward. And I'll be happy to have your help here in the meantime. I'd be happy to help. A lot of people are staying here, so that means I have to- I have to go with Lloyd. Where is this coming from, Kia? This is going to be a dangerous mission. You understand that, don't you? Of course. The factory's really far away, and there's no telling what's going to be there waiting for us. That's why I want to help gather info for us, and I can back you up with my order, like I always do. Someone give her a scythe. I feel like she'd be a good <laughs> combat specialist. It makes a lot more sense for me to go than it does to stay here, if you ask me. Well, give her some credit. Uh, she makes a good point. And I'll be tagging along too. That should make the operation a lot safer. My stigma should prove useful in a pinch. I don't think it'll be too dangerous for her. Alright, I should be glad that there are two people, two other people willing to go. So I'd be happy to have you both. I'm counting on you, Wazi. You two, Kia. <laughs> I'm glad to see you take your own advice when it comes to trusting her. To us trusting her a little more. Make sure to back Lloyd up with everything you got, Kia. You bet I will. Well then, your odds of success are rising by the minute, aren't they? May you all ever keep your chins up and your eyes fancied forward. It sounds overly optimistic to me. Believing in the future easily <laughs> beats standing still. Sign me up for sunshine when you're, pu you're the sunshine you're pumping. Seriously though, you should give some thought to what your old cellmate said after a fight yesterday too. Might help you sort things out. What? Call it a hunch. I don't remember what he said that he would have to think about. Good luck with your little factory tour, Bannings. May the goddess be with you. Could you flash back and remind me what he said? Because I... Thank you. Cut things short for today. Enjoy your freedom while you can and have fun struggling against the inevitable. 
You're helpless to stop us now that you've lost your way. Ah, okay. Lost our way? What was that supposed to mean? Was he referring to the loss we suffered to Rufus back at the signing ceremony? Or something even before then? Nothing comes to mind at the moment, but I feel like it's something we as the player have no idea about. I don't think we need to worry about Armorica with Vald and Scarlet staying there. Let's just focus on what we need to do here. Exactly, we gotta do our part while everyone else is working to help us. You've got me there. Illusions shattered. Our first goal is finding a route to the factory. We can start by seeing how things are here, and hopefully gather some information. I'm willing to bet a lot of the people from the city fled here too. Might come across a familiar face or two among them. Oh yeah, maybe. Alright, let's get started. Oh. Okay. She will not... Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, that's how tagalongs work. I guess... I got the thing early because I did the gold ceiling stone. Oh, I guess... I guess, <laughs> I guess it's also saying... Wait, can I even... You can still replace her. I won't do that, though. Oh, there's something we haven't checked in a long, long ass time. I do need to go over these. Just as a reminder for myself. Squires, Scarlet, and Vald accompany... Squires, Scarlet, and Vald accompany Wazi to the ancient battlefield, arriving just in the nick of time to save Lloyd and his friends from dire straits. The moment Ilya is saved, she turns against Re uh, Risha, revealing that she is the one behind a bewitching dance that hypnotizes all. Yeah, but it's not just the dance, right? Like, the Rufus talk is required? Lloyd and Co. rush to the ancient battlefield to save the kidnapped Kia from Sao. Zyke exists. Holy beast. <laughs> okay. He's got two slots. Well, I, I can't wait to see what goes on there. What character development do we need from Zite? <laughs> Interesting. And she's already done. That's weird. Uses. Uses has an unbelievable reunion with his brother, Rufus, upon learning that the prison escapee is the man behind the broken sea mask. Crow exists. Sees his old moniker. So he wasn't dry and he came back when he heard that Rufus took his name. Oh, God. Um. C has two goals, the first to eliminate the imposter, who seeks to use their name for ill, and second, to settle a past debt. Rufus reflects on his life beneath a sea of stars, recognizing that he never has never had a reason for being or found a real genuine purpose. That was very interesting. I, He is the most character development stars out of everyone, what? But these two happened at the same time, didn't they? Like th these were both in that same conversation. <sighs> Nadia teases her interrogation methods before a downed <laughs> EDF soldier, suggesting that behind her cruel smile lies a crueler pass. That's for sure. Oh, Vald's done. Vald accompanies uh, Wazi to save Lloyd, displaying his newfound skill and knowledge as a squire. Dingo. She just got added. Petite, mouthy, owner, Neon Volley, Leaves, Branch. Are we ever going to Leaves? I'd love to go to Leaves. It's been a long time. I'd, I'd love to go to Trista, too. And then Ren. Used to be an enforcer. There we go. Lloyd & Co. 
work to save Ilya. But just as all seems well, Ilya attacks Risha. Now cloaked with a, by a bewitching aura, she's no longer the woman they know. I'm right. Wait. Uh oh. With all allies? Oh god, four of my allies aren't. Hold on. Are these the four? No. One, two, three. Wait, I have to reach 110 with all allies, but like. Who counts as all allies? <laughs> Oh, 106 is the lowest level. It, it's that progress isn't for each ally. Obviously, I don't have 106 allies. I might be able to do that with the Azure Droplets right now. <laughs> Fill in 50% of the character tab. Ooh. Battle. Interesting. Okay. Okay, new master missions added. Uh, fish here. uh oh, you. We only have ten right now, so there's no reason to go back and do I that. We but... could fish here. Can I though? There's like a boat in the way. <laughs> yeah, we don't care about the boat. This will be good. Oh. Wow, that was not. I. Oh, I screwed up. I have to I have to fix this. I shouldn't have turned on high speed that Okay. Okay. There we go. Look at the size of this baby. Ooh. Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> this time without me turning on high speed at the beginning of the cast. This will be good. Okay. Tap. All right, now I can turn it back on. Look at the size of this baby. I bet we could fish here. All right, we're good here. Macaud. I think that's how you say it. I can't believe you came here by boat, of all things. Don't worry, the EDF hasn't shown their faces around since the occupation. Really? We can't rule out that they'll come eventually. Everyone's a little on edge. We started offering counseling services for those who need them. You're welcome to attend as well. Right. Dane Ursula's been known for his neurology, but also has a psychology department. Sayland, Dr. Sayland was placed in charge of it, but she's not here. So we're not accepting psychology patients. Don't want to sit back and do nothing. That's why we're offering counseling, at least. I could talk to Kia. Guess what you... Try walking around the hospital first. It's been a while since I was last here. Hope everyone's holding up okay. Now let's go this way first. Hmm. Look. Nope. No one here? Wait. That's just Kia. <laughs> now to feed all those other mouths. The kitchen is going to be busy all night. It's a good thing some uh, some of the refugees have been lending a hand. We're not struggling as much as we might have. One of them even ha made refreshments to hand out to the others. Now that's the spirit. Times like these call for a little selfless work to get your mind off things. Okay. It's a real blessing to have refugees helping out. Uh-oh. 9, 10, and 11. Oh, man. I don't know when I'm going to read that. that. There's a lot of chapters. Do you... I know I was covering it before when I was trying to show this off, but... Look at how many pages that is. All right, 7 and 8 are... with the other group. It's a lot of pages. Also, why do I have so many books? So, so many books. Half of these I, I have already read, though. I remember this one. Damn. Life of Tomatonio, I remember that one, too. <laughs> I should be getting back to work. 
we've had to lend unused rooms here and in the hospital to refugees that can't return to the city. It's only natural for there to be more to clean with so many people staying here. Not that I'm complaining. Everyone's pitching in to keep things going around here. So I want to do my part as well. Then why are you sweeping one single tile? Cleaning is hard work, but it does help calm my nerves. It's something I've always been good at, so I don't mind cleaning for everyone's benefit. Hey, didn't this used to be a hallway? Or is it here? Sta staff dormitory. Doesn't that lead out to the... Uh, it leads out to the deck over there, but... I guess we can't go there? This layout is so different than... Zero in Azure. Can I even... S I mean, it still exists. Just can't go anywhere. <laughs> oh, oh, main story is right there. Gotta talk to everyone first. What the? Is this the third floor then? This is second floor. Why is the, the layout is so different? Oh my God. <sighs> they say I get to leave the hospital soon because of all the rehab I've done. My hands are still kind of numb, but I can, I can even hold a pen now. It's all thanks to the surgery I had with Dr. Salen. Lynn promised he'd take me to the radio station and leaves when I finally get discharged. Then, once I get my hands fix, my hands are fixed, I want to start practicing the piano again. That's why everything in the city needs to get better. Yeah. No point in leaving if there's no peace on the outside, but I don't want to give up. Everyone needs to take a page from this little girl. A lot of folks have fled to the hospital. They do things like clean the sheets. Okay. <clears throat> Several of our s staff members were on their way to their co a conference in Remiferia when the EDF attacked the city. Dr. Salem was to give a speech about the surgery she performed on the Emperor. And Dr. Lago was going to make a, uh, going to d debut a thesis he wrote while working uh, as a military doctor on the battlefield. I remember that name. Do I? Was that a, the old guy? The old guy who's friends or what? Not friends with the uh, <laughs> priest. Head nurse Martha and several other doctors who worked in the army were invited too. I hope they're okay. Wonder what they're up to. Uh, which nurses? Is what's her face here? Nurse, Nurse Mint. Mint version of the nurse. At least the hospital wasn't taken over, I guess. Of course, people are down in the dumps. Everyone was looking forward to listening to the signing ceremony on the radio. Some even got special permission to leave the hospital and attend in person. My release was right around the corner, too. I was looking forward to going home to a free Crossbell City. <sighs> if only Cecile were here to get my mind off things. It's hard to care about much of anything right now. No one's pretending to be cheerful. Especially without Cecile. How how do how? How do I live without her? <laughs> there you are. Feeling any better, Yarnik? Uh, sorry, Saron. C Cerrone? I'm gonna go Cerrone. Uh, but that's not gonna happen anytime soon. What happened to me during the war? All I could think about was vengeance. I betrayed everything Prince Oliver stands for. Uh, there's no place for me in Ulster anymore. I... I remember his name after he mentioned that. I don't remember Ulster that well. I mean, that's that's his hometown, or Oliver's. I'm, I'm no better than those EDF goons occupying Crossbell. That's why I don't even want to go through rehab. 
Just leave me alone. Still down in the dumps, huh? I've been thinking that what you need is a change of pace. I know, how about writing a poem? But why would I do that? I've never written poetry in my life. You should try it. I used to write all the time when I was a student. I'd write stuff like, mint chip, yes, she even mentioned mint. Uh, chocolate for tomorrow. Vanilla, today. <laughs> now I want some ice cream. You sure are a unique one, Saron. Yarnik was originally placed in the head nurse's care, but when she got reassigned and had to leave, Martha told me, It's all or nothing, Saron. I'm counting on you. <sighs> oh, that was my tummy. Uh, my tummy. I'm gonna take a sneaky snack time now. Wait. Yeah. I can't talk to him. There we go. You weren't kidding about wanting ice cream, huh? I won't lie, it's hard to stay down with you around, Saron. It's all too overwhelming, honestly. Dealing with my recovery is tough enough, but now Crossbell's in danger. How much longer? Hmm. I might remember these people. What am I going to do with you? You've got so happy. You got so happy when you heard Crossbell was going to be independent uh, that you jumped for joy and threw out your back. And now I'm stranded here because I came all the way to visit you on the day of the signing ceremony. Why me? Why must bad things always happen to good people? Oh, stuff a stock in it, will ya? Here, have a dried persimmon. That should keep you quiet. You stole those from me to get begin with. Not that I'm going to say no, but don't think you can put me in a good mood so easily. How do you stay so optimistic all the time? You've got some nerve. Don't think a few dried persimmons are going to make me forgive you. I don't remember their story. <laughs> what was I thinking, letting myself get down so easily? Sure, what happened is a real shame. There's no point in wasting my energy being sad. I need to get out of this funk and get back on track. At least he's optimistic. Uh... I'd rather take the stairs, just in case. The hospital is currently housing several refugees from the city. There are also several patients and visitors that have nowhere else to go. It's unnatural they would all feel uneasy, with Crossbell being in a state of emergency. We're doing everything in our power to provide healthy meals and keep them comfortable. Go ahead. Unfortunately, we're not a hotel, so there's only so much we can do, but we're trying. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, you guys don't have names. Yeah, you don't have a name either. Okay. How about you? Whoa! Is that you, Lloyd? What are you doing here? Good to see you again, Lon. Uh, it's a bit of a long story. Uh, oh, I, but I did meet up with C Cecile. She's safe and sound in Armorica. Her, Mifa, and the doctors on duty are looking after Speaker McDowell. Really? After I heard what happened to the Speaker over the radio, thank goodness he's alright. Things were chaotic here for a while after the ceremony, but it's calmed down for the most part. Our equipment had some issues, but we didn't have the have to book any emergency surgeries fortunately it's all good now that's a relief yeah last thing we need is more fires to put out we're going to keep poking around the hospital if that's all right thanks for getting us up to speed no problem at all i'm sure you're going to have a lot of work on your hands but good luck you know i was expecting everyone here to be more despondent but, but, uh, mm -hmm. they're in high school but, uh... now where to find It's good they're in high You know, I was expecting everyone here to be more despondent. Ha Where did that Where did that key extra Kia voice come from? <laughs> okay. No reason to go to there. Oh wait, I'm missing like five people over here. 
Peter! Oh, hey there, Lloyd. I'm glad to see everything, everyone's doing okay, despite how crazy things have gotten. You're Peter from the Fisherman's Guild, right? Good to see you're hanging in there yourself. Yeah, somehow or another. Although, I'm really anxious. After, right now, after getting separated from the other guild members. But knowing them, I'm sure they're doing what they can to help everyone back in the city. So I'm trying to take a page out of their book and help around the hospital, as well as monitor the lake's water quality. The water quality? Why that? During the war, there were abnormalities detected in those readings, so I figure, in this case, better safe than sorry. Thankfully, there's nothing amiss at the moment, so no need to worry there. That's good to hear. Glad to know you're staying on top of things. Just don't work yourself too hard. Times are tough for everyone. You gotta have some Peter time every now and then. Right, of course. I appreciate the advice, Lloyd. I'm a type who needs to keep moving to distract himself from everything going on, though. So, in some ways, pushing myself a little might actually be the best thing I can do for my own well-being, if you can believe it. Maybe a humble fisherman, etc. Okay, okay. I've heard some business in, businesses remain open under the careful watch of the EDF. At least that means we can still expect supplies to be transported. That's one less worry for the time being. I'm still concerned about the city. There's a rumor going around that people have been brainwashed. That can't be true, can it? No. No, it's not true. It's totally false. Don't listen to... Who would be delivering those rumors out here? <laughs> I was out shopping during last month's incident. To make matters worse, Lago was shopping at the same store, so I had to take shelter with that cue ball. This time, this time though, he had managed to avo avoid the worst of it because of that conference he was invited to with Dr. Salent. I know it's a coincidence, but uh, it seriously bugs me how lucky he can be. Now, well, the silver lining is that I've got the place all to myself, and I can help help my patients in the hospitals I see fit. <laughs> Speaking of, my son Kynes attends a medical school in Remiferia. Hope he's keeping up. Well, no time to worry about that. We're okay. I wonder if we're ever going to go to Remiferia in any of the games. Have we? No. No. No, we haven't. We've read books. That's about it on Remiferia. <sighs> the war didn't last very long, but I learned a lot during my brief time as a field medic. A lot of it was technical expertise, but I also learned what it means to be brave and how to make split-second decisions. Now I have a chance to put all of those skills into action once again. Thing is, I was drawing a blank on how to apply any of it to, to help here and now. Then McCod mentioned he wanted to open a counseling room for patients. I was surprised at first, but now I get it. That's the kind of healing people need right now. Uh, something that comforts their hearts. Turns out I have a long way to go before I catch up with McCod. Now I think about it, aren't his final exams coming up? His residency is almost over. Hope he's making time to study. Mm. Alright, I think that is everyone. I'm still confused why 301 in this whole section is blocked off in the way it is. I, I guess the layout is the same. There just wasn't a staircase over here before. Like, there, there, there just wasn't. Uh, in the in zero and Azure and then this door is locked so we can't actually just walk around that but but it's probably the same layout as the second floor over behind that door it's just screwing with my brain a little bit uh oh yeah there's Tio I knew it and Yona and Roberts and generic NPC times four 
I can't believe the old governor, governor general thinks he can just start calling himself our supreme leader. What a joke. They, call, they can call it whatever they want, but this is just a bunch of convicts causing trouble. They'll never get away with it. This United Nations thing they're going on about is a complete pipe dream. It's never going to happen. I finally managed to smooth thing, everything over with my old family, and now this is, how, this is getting in the way. You want this crisis to be over, so with so so life can go back to normal. Sure, it's completely ridiculous. I'm telling you, nothing good will come of it. Nothing will come of it. At least I really hope nothing does. Thank you for all your help. We don't have much to offer in return, but here are some snacks. I hope you'll enjoy them. You didn't have to do that, but the gesture is still appreciated. Yeah, I've never fixed medical equipment before, so I didn't want to get anyone's hopes up. <laughs> you could have had me fooled with such fine work. You both did splendidly. He's got some cartoony eyes compared to the rest of them. What's going on with your eyes, Chief Roberts? Oh, th that's right. I don't know what we would would have done without you. We wouldn't have escaped if it weren't for you. We'd likely be brainwashed by the Supreme Leader, like all the others. Uh, just, uh, just what happened to all of them? I believe I owe you an apology. A big one. None of this would have happened had we protected everyone at the signing ceremony like we swore to. If only we'd been stronger. Hey, come on, Tio. Oh, Tio. Oh, she's going through the same thing as Ellie. We're gonna have to do that, aren't we? No, this isn't your fault. That's right. No, no one is blaming you for what happened. Looking back, I don't know what more you could have been, been expected to do. Look, Lloyd. It's Tio. I thought she might come here. Thank goodness she's all right. It looks like they're talking to evacuees from the city. Hmm? Hold on just a minute. Yeah, things were doomed from the start. It finally dawned on me too. I don't know why we ever thought we could truly be truly independent. It's hopeless. Huh? No, they... Uh, what's gotten into you guys all of a sudden? It's obvious, isn't it? The Supreme Leader never would have occupied us again if we just obeyed the Empire like we used to. We wouldn't have to be so afraid of the EDF had we not dreamed of independence. And when you think about it, everything was better when we were in, in an Imperial province. Even the economy was booming. I give all of that up. Why do we even want to become independent? <laughs> What is wrong with all of you? There really isn't any need to be so pessimistic. The Supreme Leader and EDF aren't all we have to worry about either. There's also those huge machines. They... They even have the old president's backing. Everyone in the city is enthralled by them. There isn't a shred of hope. Things are going to get better anymore. No. That's not true at all. The SSS is going to keep fighting. We have allies we can depend on. The CPD, CGF, and even our friends from outside Crossbell. There are people who will surely help us. We won't allow you to suffer like this. We'll be the ones to put an end to it. Tio. Tio, you shouldn't. We used to have hope, th to you, uh, thanks to you, or at least we thought we did. Whether it's the Mafia or that cult, or even when our own mayor became a dictator, we kept on believing. Not even Imperial occupation or the war made us lose hope. But in the end, it was all for nothing. The signing ceremony made us realize that. What we had was never hope to begin with. It was just a delusion, and that made it even more painful once we accepted the truth. 
Again and again and again. Oh no, he's red now. Over and over and over and over. We were never hope to them. Uh oh. That can't be true. We can't just give up and stop. Just please, just stop. Can't you see we're just so tired of all this? Besides, you've got no right to talk to, to us about ending our suffering. If you hadn't arrested President Croy, <laughs> then we would have already had everything we wanted. <laughs> oh, but lower model flashbacks. Everything we did was... Okay, Lloyd needs a slap now. Wazzy. Hmm. Nope, or Kia. Can you all hear yourselves? You're completely full of it. Uh, aren't you, uh... Kia, <laughs> Wazzy. Hey, you guys are all right. I was one of the people involved in that arrest. So let me make something perfectly clear. Letting Dieter Kreuz go free for what he did over two years ago was never an option. He attacked the city, had the speaker detained, and even tried to take over the entire continent. Dieter was arrested in accordance with state law. The mm. same as any cross Bellin would have been. That's all there is to it. <laughs> I... Yeah, what about it? <laughs> Their eyes are starting to look less... Hi, now I think they're back to normal a little. What about Crossbell? They had a responsibility to do what was best for us. A responsibility? And why is that? Because you made them your symbols of justice? Because you decided they were your heroes? The SSS is just a division of the Crossbell Police Department. Nothing more, nothing less. You have no one to blame but yourselves for thinking any different. Their purpose isn't to make all of your problems go away. Wait. Oh, thank God. He finally said... Because <laughs> everyone's like way too dependent on them. This needs to be said to every single citizen. They're just a department of the police. Stop. You need to rise up on your own. N no one thought. <sighs> I know it's been a long two years. Two years where all Crossbellans could do was powerlessly watch the Empire trample over their pride. It's natural to wish that a savior would appear and solve everyone's problems. But personally, I never wanted to see Crossbell come to that. What Crossbell has given me is irreplaceable. Friends and family that mean the world to me, like Lloyd and Vald. So it pains me to see this as someone who's come to love Crossbell more than his old home. Wazzy. Dot, dot, dot. The SSS chose the path they did because they wanted a little girl to be free. But that same little girl couldn't help but feel it was her fault when she saw Erebonia invade and take over her home. Because she knew that none of it would have happened if she didn't exist. Kia, no. <sighs> but she wasn't the only reason they chose the path that they did. The SSS had also seen how strong Crossbell became, facing adversity over and over again. They knew that if they chose any other path, the efforts and sacrifices of so many would be lost. Their home would never be the same. And they, along with that little girl, believed from the bottom of their hearts that all of Crossbell would overcome it for the better. She's right. That was what we decided. I want to answer the trust they placed in me however I can. I was all alone once, somewhere very dark. It's because of everyone around me that I have so much to be thankful for. The SSS and the people of Crossbell made me into the person I am today. So now I want to fight to help them. Looking that means I'm there. here to pave a path forward for all of you too. And on it, I just 
No, we'll see brighter days. Because it was Crossbell and its people that taught me the strength to persevere. Dot dot. A path forward. Maybe she's right. It could be too soon to be giving up hope. Get rid of that dark aura. I'm telling you, Kia's gonna counter it with hope. But they have to they have to stand up for themselves. I, this game can't end with like just the SSS coming in to save the day. Uh, well, not this game, but the crossbell part can't end like that. <laughs> it just wouldn't be right. Like they're just gonna rely on them again. It's true, we've been through a lot of hard times before, but those experiences are what made us who we are today. Yes, you're right. That's what, uh, that's part of what makes Crossbell what it is. Maybe we're stronger than we give ourselves credit for. Look! It's disappearing. So, it is something they can physically see? It's not just like a feeling, an aura that they can sense? Hmm. It looks like we're the ones who should be apologizing after all. That was no way to talk to about people who've done so much for us. Not after you put so much on the line to protect Crossbell. Yes, and somewhere along the line, we started taking that for granted. Now I still don't know exactly what exactly I can do to make a difference, but the least I can do is look for a way to move forward. Just like you all have. That's right. We'll ha we have to hold out hope. Thank you, everyone. <sighs> it's so weird that I have to voice the four NPCs, but everyone else is voiced. The whole time. Anyway, we should be grateful that you all made it out of the city safely. And I hope you keep up the good fight, SSS. We'll keep cheering you on. We have to keep doing what we always have. That's to keep moving forward, one step at a time. That we're not naive enough to believe that will be enough to take back what we lost. It's going to take the help of everyone who calls Crossbell home. So do me right. a favor and think about how you can help. What you would give to be free. And I promise the SSS will support you just as much as you've always supported us. Hmm. Yeah, it seemed that it got it got a little bit emotional there too. Uh, not like actual teary, but like I, I was definitely feeling like, oh, I was it was it was hitting for a while <laughs> until I had to read the citizens for that long. Eventually, they just look poor. The citizens, what what can you do about them? Literally, I think we have to, like, talk everyone. We need Kia to go around and, like, rally the troops with, with actual hope. I think that's how you beat it. Words. The SSS and their allies bid, then bid, farewell to the citizens and left the rooftop. Back inside, familiar nurse agreed to let them use the nurse station to talk and decide what to do next. <sighs> nope. Tio. Sorry I kept you waiting again. I'm glad you're okay. Do you hear yourself? I'm the one breathing a sigh of relief. Your injuries seemed so severe. And then we were all separated. So that's what this is all about. I can't imagine how tough it's been for you three being kept in the dark. Thanks for worrying about me. I know it couldn't have been easy. It never is. You're always so reckless. But I knew you'd come looking for me again. Lloyd, I'm so glad you found me. Hmm. Wasn't gonna stop till I did. Oh. <laughs> Would you listen to them go on and on? <laughs> I'm so happy for you, Tio. Would you knock it off with the crying already? That's what I've been waiting for. We haven't seen any Roberts breaking down over <laughs> how much he obsesses over Tio. <sighs> Why is Lloyd always... No one ever hugs him from the front. 
They, they always just sneak up and hug him from the back. I think Ellie did the same thing. So, you're headed for the Rhineford military factory to the west. I had a feeling that might be it. You did? That must be what you three have been doing here, then. Precisely. The chief, Yona, and I have been looking into some sp suspicious information surrounding the factory. Not to mention I spotted a certain sketchy professor amidst the chaos of everyone fleeing the city. Good. Good. At least someone noticed him. You mean that slime ball that supported the Ill illegitimate regime from three years ago? Ouroboros' sixth anguish. Professor F. Novartis. No, no, I don't know. Is there any break in the way you say it? Is it Novartis? N Nova... There's only one way you can say that, but I still struggle to think that that's right. Oh well. The head of the 13 factories. I had a feeling the society was involved. His specialty is applied science, right? He's the one in charge of all the crazy, powerful tech. Yes, in addition to being the engineer who completed the first generation ions. His involvement could explain the new Zalber Soldat model and that strange mask. That's why we've had our attention placed on the military factory. Good thinking. Uh, it's looking more and more like, uh, likely that we'll uncover something to help our investigation there. The V3 found an infiltration route. It just so happens we have. Iona and I looked into it. There was a cargo line while the factory was still under construction before the war. Okay. It feeds directly into the underground railway that connects to St. Ursula. Wait, underground railway? Oh. Well, that's convenient. Almost too good to be true. Uh, but I trust... I trust it if Tio's the source. We should head there right away. There's no time to waste. The sooner we uncover what's really happening, the better. Uh, yes, and the church isn't going to look the other way if it turns out the society is the one orchestrating this incident. There's no telling the extent of that Alberea, <laughs> Alberea fellow's plans. But it's high time we shed some light on what's really going on. I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of it if we all work together. Just try not to get caught, will ya? Don't let all that hard work we did go to waste. Don't worry. We'll be careful. And thanks, Yona. We really owe you for helping out, Tio. Save it, Pannings. Not like I did much. Still, it's good to see you guys back on your feet. You're still the same obnoxious brat you ever were, huh? That's part of Yona's charm. <laughs> Knock it off already. Well, then... Uh, we'll leave investigating the factory up to the four of you. Yona and I will continue gathering as much info as we can. Here. You can reach the underground railway platform from the first floor lobby. Okay. Got it, thanks. We'll be going now, Chief. Look after yourself. Uh, same to you, Tio. That explains when we walked up to that door, they're like, Not now. And I'm like, what? What do you mean, not now? Like, why would we ever go here? That explains it. Ooh. Uh-oh. Oh, that's a perfect way after that thing, that conversation that Lloyd had. Learning Burning Heart 2. What's it do? <laughs> What's the difference? Is it more HP? We did not have regen for two turns. I think that's the new part. God damn it, can I re uh, please, please, give me a before and after, please. I don't know what Burning Heart 2 does. It's gotta be the regen, it's gotta be. Okay, and we got Teal back, which means we have Absolute Reflect back, thank god. I'm gonna have to gear them up, because they have not been part of the game for a while. Um, let's just check these now while we're at it. 
Teal reunites with Lloyd and Co. after evacuating the medical college. And she has since gathered intel on ways to get to their destination. Crossbow has become more home to him than where he was born, and his sincere love reaches the hearts of the citizens. Mm -hmm. That was a good speech. Oh, uh, and Yona. Yona's done. Yona and Teal fled, uh, flee to the medical, uh, the, to the hospital, uh, later learning of a suspicious military factory site nearby that they believe warrants investigation. It's not really a character note I needed updating, but... Huh. I'm gonna keep sleuthing around for info about the ca capital and look into what's going on with the Supreme Leader. Try not to let all my hard work go to waste, if you can help it, okay? Take care out there. Okay. My heard Dr. Sayland is unaccounted for as well. She was supposed to attend the academic conference in Remiferia. You all are also acquainted with her, yes? I don't know if it has anything to do with any the EDF, but I can't help but suspect it. It might help to keep it in mind as you're scouting out or, uh, out scouting around I hope Dr. Salen's okay same we'll keep our ear to the ground you do that but don't go getting caught yourselves if anything were to happen to you especially Tio uh, I would never recover that's enough how long are you going to treat me like a child well this relationship dynamic hasn't changed one bit he's trying to hide it He's definitely t t toned it toned it down. Okay, I, I, it doesn't look like they're actually updated, despite letting us use that room. You can get to the underground station through the lobby. Oh, um, I spot the door. Beat you there. Before that, I do need to double check. You're not gonna let me go to Ursula Road Three, right? I'm glad to see you were able to reunite with Teal. Nothing out of the ordinary he over here. All I've seen today are trees, trees, and more trees. Hold on, you said you came on that boat over there, right? You can cross the water, then so can the EDF. Maybe I need to keep an eye on the lake, too. Maybe. EDF crossing the lake just as you did isn't out of the realm of possibility. But why would they? Okay. Like, what What purpose would they have for sneaking into the college if they're taking over? So, I don't see that being a thing. Um, I need to get people set up. The only way I can do that, can I... I can reverie corridor. Uh, yeah, hold on a minute. I'm going to... I'm going to pause, stretch, get a drink, and hopefully we're actually not locked out the second we walk in here. Maybe I should check. Is it gonna give me a warning? It's letting me walk in here. So, we'll see. Alright, screw it. D just in case. I'd like to go get a set up New here. Visitors registered. Oh, Kia's here. Of course of course she's here. T O two. Okay. Um, but no <laughs> Group C is definitely getting a cutscene. Yes? What is it? Everything about this round defies logic. This terminal and the memory manipulation that it's been happening are no exceptions. Still, I can't help but find it all fascinating. It makes me wonder who could have created this place, and more importantly, how. I'm ready to venture into wherever the corridor leads, as, as long as we're together. Let's get to the bottom of what's happening. <laughs> Thanks for thinking of me. The others that arrived here before could recall hearing a voice guide as well. Though no one has heard anything since, I wonder if there's some sort of condition that caused it to appear. Hmm, I wonder if this dialogue's gonna go way away, cause like, when C group shows up... Uh, I'm assuming we're gonna have a cutscene and every everything here is gonna be updated, and probably the next stratum will be available? That would be sweet. 
Okay, so I don't have any stuff here. I'm looking for. Here you are. Want to chat? I never expected to run into Yuna and her classmates here, of all places. I still can't remember what's going on in the real world, but it doesn't feel like I could or could have predicted this. You mean through sense and causality? That's just that just reinforces how bizarre this situation really is. Uh, that's not so bad. You shouldn't rely on a, the gift you still have too much. Your powers aren't to be used lightly. Uh huh. This is uh, something you guys are going to have to solve the old-fashioned way with hard-nosed detective work. I'm sure you've got this, and I promise I'll pitch in any way I can too. Okay. You can't can't use your powers to figure this out. Interesting. Place is pretty confusing, but I'm sure I'll get it figured out if we keep working together. You guys have got this. I kind of wish they interacted with each other a little more, but actually these two did. I guess it's just random. <laughs> um, I could go here for that. Ceiling Your... stones unsealable. I'm just gonna go over to the tree right now. Claire, you, you. Why? You, no, you were here. Ah, there you are. This isn't ideal. I didn't wake up this morning thinking I'd be whisked away to another dimension. And a little mirror is to blame, huh? I'd put my mirror on an artifact being involved one way or another. Ooh. This kind of power doesn't just appear out of thin air, if you catch my drift. Where did all of this come from? This isn't ideal. Regardless, let's consider ourselves lucky that we're all together like this. And I'll keep my wits about me and glean what I can as we delve deeper into the corridor. Okay. You think an artifact might be to blame, huh? We could fish here. Yeah, let's get 200 CP too. Bam. Okay, um, that is uh, all the people updated. I'm just gonna go do the thingy. Man, this thing has new stuff all the damn time. This uh, curios area, and I just got a new recipe for it too. Uh, I don't really want to spend all my money on the rest, but I have their gear sorted out now. I have most of this stuff sorted out. Uh, I thought about, I don't, ha I don't have enough yet. But I could get 240 strength and plus 8 evasion if I just had a few more U materials. I'm a little sad I don't have that at the moment. But I could probably get that in a few battles if I really tried. Unfortunately, like... I, I don't... I, that's a lot of U materials. Uh-oh. Purple Ellie hair. No, we gotta buy all these. Just, just to have them. Awaken her hair. I don't care about the towels. <laughs> I really don't. Alright, and we are good on revival? Yeah. And equipment, they're all good. Uh, we can buy the plus ones now, which is great. But now I'm broke because of it. Because... Oh, did I not buy yours? I didn't buy his... Actual equipment. I upgraded his weapon, though. But the rest of them, fully upgraded. Gave him... He's gonna... I'm making him a tank. A, a caster tank, apparently. Because he, he is... He's got a magical... S-craft. And it does 5S. So, if he had a lot of ATS, he could... He could do... A ton of damage. And I'm pretty sure that was the strongest move in Azure, too. And Lloyd, I didn't really have to update. Blazing I don't. Forge activated. I don't know if I actually messed with their stuff here. Actually, let me let me just look at your. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. 
Okay, this took me a lot longer than I, I care to admit <clears throat> to get to get everyone set up for who knows. We might walk in there and they might say, "All right, now you have to play Reen's group. You're 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 paused right now. Sorry." And then I have to move things back. But at the moment, I have somewhat evasion tank Lloyd, still strong. Uh, she has almost 2,700 ATS. That's great. I also made an EP3. Uh, EP cut 3 for... Uh, just because it's good. And a cast 3, a mine 3, and gave her a bunch of ATS things to boost her. He... He's mostly, like, halfway... I, I didn't really get all of his ATS in there, but he's got a lot of speed. A lot of speed. Very accurate. And decent ATS. I think it should be fine. As far as their gear goes. Yeah, and, and he's got a ton of HP, too. Okay. <sighs> Let's... Double check the this thing really quick. I don't. Central I won't get RP or activated. anything. Confirming rank points no. accumulated. New contents available. Is there? Oh no! I can get more tagalongs. Oh man. That that was definitely just added. Okay. Well. Well, we'll have to work towards that, and there are, uh, there's nothing I can do here at the moment. I need a repeatable one. Please? Alright, let's get out of here. Please, please let me actually play Lloyd's story. <laughs> don't, noted. don't, don't lock me. Oh, good. This is my first time seeing the new subway line they built. It's a little eerie how... He he hearing how it's deathly silent it is down here. Yeah, all the trains were stopped after the city was occupied, right? Yes, we don't need to worry about the tracks being active. Okay. We should eventually reach where the freight and passenger line split if we follow the line to the north. Let's make that our first destination. Walking in the train lines like this always makes my heart race. Definitely. We had to do this more than more than a few times over the last couple of years. Alright, let's get going. Oh, thank God. I was so worried that they were going to be blocked too. I'm sure... Eventually, Lloyd's gonna hit a point where his mirror picks up again, and it's gonna say, Oh no, you have to wait. I think that's the only way they can introduce, like, the new character coming in and all that stuff. Wow, there's actually nothing. <laughs> you just ran a circle around nothing. I'm a bit curious how they're gonna handle it, but... That way leads to Michelin. The factory's the other way. Right, northwest. Let's go. Okay. No, Cody, you at least gave me one of these in case I didn't use the corridor. You might be new. Yeah. Let's begin. That was. Huh. Oh, we only have three people, so like. I'm actually just kind of awkwardly over to the left, but that that's fine. Uh, wait, or no. Yeah. Blood m Monad. A tube-shaped beast that thrives underground and latches onto any wandering by. Sucking them dry. Rip. Weak to water. Okay, then. You... Oh, and that. Uh... That's your magical move. I kind of want to see how much his ATS does, like, damage-wise right now. Think you can dodge this? 
7k. Ah, how soothing this is. And a 7k heal. Okay. That's not bad. You have a bunch of water. Oh no. They're they're all gonna get a turn and come up to Lloyd in a minute, so yeah. Good. Gotcha. They're open. Oh. Gotcha. Okay, I didn't think they were gonna be this weak. Gotcha. No. Gotcha. I don't. It's over. I don't think they're gonna make it. Nope. Not Let's you go. hit him. Um, I do need you guys. Oh, they're out of range. I can't pull them in. Teal, can you move that? It's in the wrong spot now. Shit. Thirty-seven thousand. Come on, baby. All right, just hit him with that. And you. Oh, none of these are targets. Screw it. Hit him with that. Uh, oh, you. <laughs> Hit him with that. Yeah, your ATS needs to be higher. Oof. Nope. Oh, I think it's on the wrong side. Never mind. We're good. I got some good data. Um, uh, th that looks like a new enemy up there. I'll just stay up. Now's our chance. Uh, My turn. You need to heal, sir. Oh God, I don't have tear. I feel nice and recharged now. Let's finish this up quick. Uh, yeah. Break them! Raging hammer! You have no break. The key, he is not meant to break anything unless he uses arts. Uh. Beginning analysis. Analysis complete. A sheep swept up by a corrupting black gale. It has filled it with rage, knowing it can never return to its former peaceful life. Right. I am so sorry to hear about that. Okay, let's see if we can... Uh, I don't think there's a way to actually pull them in and keep them in, but... Did that help at all? No, it actually spread them out even more. <laughs> Damn. It's my go. Oh, oh, I wasted B... <laughs> Waste of BP. Semi gunner, activate. Absolute zero. Oh. <laughs> okay then. He is super frozen. Um. So yeah. I pray. Testament cross. My turn. Cast time reduction. I mean, I can hope that that guy gets in the way. No, Arcus it doesn't activate. matter. My turn. And it's not bad. Wow. It's my turn. <laughs> that sucks. Zero breaker. No. Got you. It's over. Just perfect. It always feels right when it comes to you. I get what you mean. We're so in sync that I don't even have to think half the time. Hmm. I don't think we've heard them together. Uh, 
I don't it's think we've heard Teal in him either. Actually, we haven't heard you two, have we? Wait, can I not? Oh, <laughs> wrong one. Oh, kind of want to hear them too. Also, let's move you up. You can be way up here, but right about there. There we go. We made it to the junction. If we keep going straight, we'd eventually reach the city. Yeah, but I seriously doubt the EDF doesn't have that direction heavily guarded. I wouldn't risk it. Yep, no need to rush. Uh, we, I'm sure we'll make it back to the city eventually. Yes, it's only a matter of time before we gather our friends and teach that so-called Supreme Leader a lesson. No one stands between us and our home and gets away with it. <laughs> That's the spirit. So Kia, Wazi, a little late, but I've been meaning to thank you for earlier. For what? <laughs> Whatever is it for this time? Don't play dumb. I'm talking about how you chimed in at the hospital. You helped me realize something important. The citizens of Crossbell weren't the only ones who had lost sight of the truth. We had too. The SSS had a clear dream two years ago, when Crossbell was annexed by Erebonia. We wanted our home to be free again, but it wasn't just that. We weren't blind patriots, fighting to protect personal pride or acting on some grand ideal. Had we been, our actions wouldn't have led to Crossbell losing its freedom. Wouldn't have led it straight into the arms of the Empire. And the little girl we protected over giving Crossbell its freedom and future wouldn't be here supporting us. What we truly wanted. For her, and for every citizen who would have to bear the burden of our choices, was for them to smile. And if we could give them their home as well, then they could be free and smile as much as they dreamed. It really was that simple. Lloyd. <sighs> it's true. That's how I felt. And I'm sure Ellie and Randy would say the same. But... Sadly, I agree. Somewhere along the line, we lost sight of that goal. The more expectations people placed on us, the more we became convinced we were obligated to win back the state's freedom. That soon turned into wanting to be seen as the very symbols of independence. Mm -hmm. To be seen as heroes to our home. All the while, we were turning our eyes away from the feelings of despair and distrust that the people had been harboring. Those feelings are probably what allowed Rufus's words to worm their way into the citizens' hearts. But regardless, we aren't going to lose our way again. We'll keep sight of our goal this time and do things our way. We're not miracle workers. We'll just do our best to make people's lives better, while others help us as much as we help them. That's what's allowed us to come this far. Good. That sounds more like the SSS I fell in love with. And if you ask me, that's what it's going to take if you want to make it through this ordeal too. Every crisis you've overcome to date has been with the help of countless others. And this will be no different. I think what Wazi means to say is every crisis we've overcome... ...because we're all one big family at the end of the day. That's why I decided to become Kia Bannings. <laughs> This is a chance for us to start over from zero, then. That's right. We're going to reclaim everything that was taken from us. And as always, we're going to fight, struggle, and shine the light on the truth. Together. Huh? What was that? Oh. I heard it, too. That sounds like... It's gunfire. And not just gunfire, either. Look up ahead. Oh! <laughs> Stop where you are, rebels! Surrender now, or there will be no mercy! You holding up all right, Tita? I I'm fine, but at this rate... Get down, you two! Ah! 
There's more of them. Where did you guys come from? The SSS? What are all of you doing down here? We can explain later. Let's focus on taking care of these guys first. Oh my god. Oh, we're just going right into this? Helmord? The SSS, huh? It must be our lucky day. Our Helmord will punish all who dare to oppose the Supreme Leader. That must be the name of this new model. <sighs> this is the last place I want to fight a Zalber Soldat. Nevertheless, it could be Sorry. worse. Now's not the time to falter. Everyone, prepare for battle! I'll back you up with my orders. Got okay. It. Please. I I'm assuming we're gonna have we're gonna get this one's tough. Agate and Tita, we're gonna get two. Right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes. Strength up medium for two turns. Break dam break damage. 200. Oh, that's so much. It, it costs three, but... Uh, Void has a break three on right now. He should be able to break them pretty damn easy. Uh, and then you... Strength and defense up. Damage up 60%. Oh, man, that's really good, too. Um... I think, I, I think I'm just gonna do that. How many... that? Eight turns. Eight turns of 200% break damage. Give them hell. Crimson break. That's kind of a lot. It's my turn. Uh, unfortunately, I just forgot that I have to... Please... Okay. Oh, thank God. Okay, I I'm allowed to let them die whenever. <laughs> now, let's use that. Um, let's see if I can pull that guy in. He's, go. he's got a big brick bar. I should analyze, but we're... We can use it on another turn. All right. Oh boy. I haven't used you in so long. Okay. Yeah, he's... Oh, that is a really great move. I mean, I mean we have to. He's also got HP minus 40, strength 80%, or er, plus 80. CP plus 80. Oh. I can do it. I don't even, I don't even have accessories on him and he did 12k. Oh my. That's an impede? That's a... She has an S, a double S plus move? Or an S plus in break and power? Damn. Very expensive, though. Sorry. Impede. <laughs> oh, God. Half of them are going to get up. <laughs> oh, we might be dead. Ooh. And it's a crit counter. Let's go. <sighs> oh god, we have five now too. Okay, great, great. And everyone's almost dead. I hate the fact that I keep breaking them right before they all get back up, because their turn is next. Let's use arts. All for one, and, and one, one for all. all. This is what we're capable of. Yeah. Ooh. My turn. Uh, you don't have any ATS, do you? Uh, he's pretty weak. I might have to just hit him. I won't. I won't get enough CP. But I, I don't have enough health to survive if I do this. And so I think I just have to pray, or maybe that doesn't give CP. That gives CP, but it's very expensive. 
They're about to all go, so... Yeah. Alright. Go ahead. I could use Omega Impulse. I'm gonna use it. I'd like to take a few, few of them. Oh man, that is a massive line. Okay, here I go. Take this, this. <laughs> Horrible compression at forty percent, eighty percent. Gotta keep it going. One hundred twenty percent. Come make it impulse. Oof. It's blinding. I know, right? Impossible. Did I just guard and cover? Uh, okay, I should, probably, I should probably think about healing now, right? I don't even have breath on her. You know what? Do you don't need to heal. <laughs> I'm so dead. I would be going after both of them. That would be that. It's fine. It's fine. No, no, we have absolute reflect. I won't let you. This has been the best decision. To use ion sh or aeon shield. That only healed her for 5k, sadly, but still. Um, no, I, I have to analyze. I can't believe how many turns they just got in a row, though. Modern Zauber Soldat piloted by the EDF. Far better than the other Soldats. It dominates the battlefield with ease. Really? Can be sealed. Let's go. Wait, can you be burned? Five. Uh, probably not. Faint? Five. Probably not, but I'm still gonna use it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. The best part about having a region uh, attached to this is like I could hit it again and it'll give me the heal for. I, I, I could actually infinitely heal. Well, not infinitely, but I could full heal from nothing with Burning Heart, too. Okay. Um How close are you to breaking? Pre pretty close. Let's uh this last six turns. I think Lloyd might break it soon. Let's go. And Tio can get that thing. Maybe? Oh, not enough. I think they're dead. Oh. What? What the? Sorry. I won't lose. You can't. You can't just get five turns back to back. What the hell? How slow is my speed? Yeah, <laughs> we'll get him back. Thank you. There we go. I'm sorry, everyone. There. 
Wait. Wait, what are you doing? It's my <sighs> He's got so much All right. evasion. And didn't block that. Don't you have a heal normally? Vital cannon. Yeah. That is a good one. And I, <laughs> I just have no CP. That's the only problem. It God me. damn it. This thing's doing a lot of damage, apparently. All right, uh, I, okay, okay, okay. We have the thing now. I'm just gonna. Roxy. Okay. What? Wait, does she have the ability to use items in an AOE? Oh, they're al they're alive! Vital cannon, finally. Cannon Good luck, everyone. Come on, baby. Uh, you should try to see if this will heal Tio. Twelve hundred. It's not it. Oh I my god. Like you. This thing has like a cast cast four on. <laughs> yeah, Tio. Tio! Pull yourself together. Thank you. Oh, oh that that was great. Okay, she gets to keep her two hundred CP. That's oh, you know what? Just just do it. Hope you're ready. <laughs> I thought I was I thought I was prepared. 16 minutes? Are you kidding me? Man, you guys were super cool. 16 minutes? Almost 17. Nice. I Of course I'd improve. That that fight actually started to make me a little sleepy. How dare you? You had like three moves, and they were all insta-cast. Ugh, this can't be happening. How did that glorified forklift manage to overcome the latest Zalbert soldat? I mean, he's not wrong about the way it looks. Uh, we must report this to the Supreme Leader at once. <sighs> we managed to take it down. Oh, I didn't doubt that we would. Good work, everyone. I thought we were goners when they were chasing us back there. Yeah, we owe you guys one. Thanks for saving our bacon. I doubt we could have taken t taken out that soldat thing without you. Don't mention it. I'm glad we could count on Tita and her orbital gear. Here's hoping it'll be smooth sailing from here. Look at the awesome team we're assembling. I'm sure everything will work out at this rate. <laughs> you guys look like you're in good spirits. I'm so glad you're all right. So, what are you, the two of you doing here in the first place? Tita. You came running from the direction of the city. Well, the thing is... Maybe it was fate we ran into the you guys now of all times. You haven't seen Erica around, have you? Uh-oh. <laughs> Professor Russell? No, has something happened to her? We were in the IBC building when it was occupied. When the city was occupied, a bunch of the black uniformed soldiers stormed the building and demanded that my mom go with them to the factory. The next thing we knew, she was shoving us into an elevator leading underground. Oh, uh, Mom, what's gotten into you? Are you freaking kidding me? I can handle this, so let me... Does your dumb, thick skull have eyes? You saw how many there are, and they have that new model with them. I have a different request for you, Agate Crossner. Protect Tita, 
even if it costs you your life. Do I make myself clear? Hmm. Damn it, Erica! Okay, so, so that's what happens. I'm not surprised, Professor R Russell, put your safety first, although... Yeah, she's as stubborn as a mule. But it's my fault she did that. I never should have allowed us to end up in this, this situation to begin with. That's on me. Didn't... How long have you been down here? Because <laughs> they occupied the city like two days ago? You don't have to blame yourself, Agate. I guess that means Estelle and Joshua haven't been with you guys, huh? That's what they look like, in case you forgot. <laughs> I'm afraid not, as we haven't been able to get in touch with them since the city was occupied. Something else, or it must be jamming communications. I hope they're alright. Estelle and Joshua are both seasoned bracers. I trust they'll be alright. I'm more worried about your mother. I don't doubt she's a pretty tough for a researcher, but these are trained soldiers we're dealing with. I think it's safe to assume that she is still in the EDF's custody, at least. However, that doesn't answer why they wanted your mother to begin with. We don't know either. The soldier said something about someone needing helpers, but that's all we know. We managed to access one of the underground computers after that, and that's how we learned that she was taken to the Reinford military factory. Hmm. I have my suspicions on who this someone could be. Which means I also have a really bad feeling about this. So do I. Only one name comes to mind, based on the information we have thus far. Uh... Brain? Oh. <laughs> I, I thought that he was just... Yeah, he's involved in the overall thing. But I, I was trying to think of, like... Is Mary Abel... She was... Where'd she been this whole time? <sighs> we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. This is a guild request at the end of the day. The job's not done until it's reported in and the client gives the reward. I'm dragging Erica out of there so I can get paid, whether she likes it or not. We have to save her for sure. Sounds like you guys are he we're headed to the same place then. You can count on us for support. The more the merrier. Thanks everyone, uh, we really appreciate it. I should at least be able to lend a hand when it comes to things like information gathering and technology. Don't undersell yourself, I'm sure you'll be of great help. Not gonna lie, running into you guys was good timing. We could really use the help. No problemo. Teamwork makes the dream work, doesn't it? So, the military factory is that away, huh? Yeah, let's get moving. Okay. Ah, you're... The map looks like a wall here. Route leading to the city is really well guarded. Fork to the left will take you there. Okay, uh, this might be <laughs> an okay stopping point. I am uh, a bit exhausted. Why did that fight feel so long? It felt like insanely long. I don't know why. So you guys are actually in the group now? I'm trying to figure out why, why, why did I use a reviving bomb and it healed two people? Nothing about her abilities would tell me that. I don't think there's a way to actually like hear about that, but like she uses two items at once. I think I don't know why. But I'm all for it. That's that's amazing. I'm definitely keeping her in for now. You are my temporary Ellie. <laughs> um, Agate. We don't need two magic users. I'm the Wazzy's gotta go out. Yeah. Uh, and I think my, my actual tactics are all mixed up. Yep. You 
move up. I actually want to keep them in a close circle so that I can actually give CP easier. Half the time, I'm just standing still giving people EP. Okay, you... You have no ATS either. Yeah, she's a physical. Or item user, one of the two. <sighs> Hold on, here, here's the true test. They're not on the list. Hmm. Lecter's not on this list either. Claire's not on this list. There's a lot of people not on this list. I'm trying to figure out who the temporary characters are. Or if they actually are temporary based on the <laughs> recipe listing there. Alright, I'm going to end it here. In the next one, we're going to the facility unless we get locked once again. Which, at some point, I expect it to happen. Maybe before you enter the facility or after we're done with the whole thing. <sighs> who knows? But that's it for this. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you like it, and I will see you in the next one.